we are asked to simplify each square root. Let's first look at the notes below. For n greater than or equal to zero, if m equals n squared, then the square root of m equals n, which means to simplify the square root of four, we're looking for a non-negative number times itself or a non-negative number squared that's equal to four. And because four is equal to two times two or two squared, the square root of four is equal to one factor of two. Let's also determine this by showing some work. Beginning with the square root of four, because four is equal to two times two, we can write this as the square root of two times two. Two times two is equal to two squared, which means we can write this as the square root of two squared. And again, because two squared is equal to four, the square root of four is equal to one factor of two. We can also think of the square root as undoing the square. Again, the square root of four is equal to two because two squared is equal to four. Next we have the square root of 49, which means we are looking for a non-negative number times itself, or a non-negative number squared that's equal to 49, because seven times seven or seven squared equals 49, the square root of 49 is equal to seven. But again, let's show some work. Beginning with the square root of 49, because 49 is equal to seven times seven, this is equal to the square root of seven times seven. Seven times seven equals seven squared. This equals the square root of seven squared. From here, because seven squared equals 49, the square root of 49 is equal to one factor of seven. Again, this is true because if we square seven, we do get 49, which is a number under the square root called the radicand. For the last example, we have the square root of 144. So again, we're looking for a non-negative number squared or a non-negative number times itself equal to 144. Because 144 is equal to 12 times 12 or 12 squared, the square root of 144 is equal to 12. Again, showing some work, beginning with the square root of 144, we can write this as the square root of 12 times 12, which equals the square root of 12 squared. From here, because 12 squared equals 144, the square root of 144 equals one factor of 12. Or again, we can think the square root undoes the squaring, giving us one factor of 12. And our check is to make sure that if we square 12, we do get the radicand of 144, which we do. I hope you found this helpful.